The Tompkins County Assessment Department values all residential and commercial properties in the county. An assessment is the price that could be reasonably paid to purchase a property. Assessments are made by a professional staff of seven real property appraisers. The Assessment Department is not involved in the apportionment, levy, collection, or enforcement of taxes. Taxing jurisdictions, like school districts, towns, and the county, set their tax levy independent of assessments. So how does an assessment work? Assessments take into account the real estate market, improvements or deterioration of buildings or other elements of the property, and the property's location, among other factors. Looking at the real estate market can show how much similar properties sell for and include many factors like size, condition, neighborhood, and amenities. Let's take an example property in the city of Ithaca. In 2024, this example property is valued at $300,000. The assessment department arrived at that number based on that property selling for $300,000 in 2023. The property is in a walkable neighborhood, close to amenities, and has updated features such as newer flooring, a renovated bathroom, and a fenced-in backyard with a patio. The property was valued by the assessment department at $275,000 in 2023, $210,000 in 2019, and $170,000 in 2016. When a property sells, that's a pretty good indication of what an assessed value should be in that year. $300,000 is what could reasonably be paid to purchase that property. As you can see, property values in Tompkins County have been rising over the past decade through 2024. Every property is assessed for its real value every year. Up-to-date assessments are the best way to ensure that the tax burden is distributed equitably across all taxable properties. In Tompkins County, we assess properties annually because the longer that you wait to reassess value, the more the values can change without being recorded, making it more likely that the tax burden wouldn't be distributed equitably. If two properties were exactly the same, but one property's building got a newly renovated bathroom while the other's bathroom showed signs of age, those properties would be valued differently. Valuing properties annually allows for those changes to be reflected in the assessments and thus the tax distribution. Assessments are also valuable for property owners and potential buyers. It gives a dollar value for the property based on the facts that professional appraisers have on hand. The assessment department does not apportion, levy, collect, or enforce taxes. Assessment data is used to calculate the tax rate or the distribution of who pays what based on the amount of taxable property that they own. Taxing jurisdictions set the tax levy, which is the total amount of money that needs to be raised through property taxes after all other income streams, like grants or state or federal funds, are taken into account. The property owner pays a tax rate, typically a dollar amount per $1,000 of assessed value. The assessment department is independent of political influence. The director of assessment reports to the county administrator, who is appointed by the county legislature. Representatives of taxing jurisdictions share the total levy that they set with the Director of Assessment, who calculates the rates for properties based on the total levy and assessed values. Tompkins County is unique. Its assessment department is the only true county-wide assessing unit in New York State. This centralizes resources and professional service to property owners in the county. Information on property inventory and assessed values can be discussed any time of the year with the assessment department's appraisal staff. Changes would then be reflected on the following March preliminary or May tentative assessment roll. Contrary to popular belief, the assessment department only changes values once a year during that March to May time frame. Many property owners are eligible for partial property tax exemptions, including veterans, senior citizens, and others. Find exemption forms on the assessment department's website. Thank you for learning more about how assessments work in Tompkins County.